Hello again, this is Falkas with the second part of the data transfer cartridge tutorial. The second part will be about the steer points, so let's navigate there. And this tab will show you all the steer points that are inside your data transfer cartridge. And as I explained to you in the first part of the tutorial, the data transfer cartridge contains of two files. And the first file is your callsign ini in this case it's falcastos ini of course and up here is actually showing t at which of those two files we're looking in this case my callsign.ini does not contain any steer point and in this example we also did not load any mission.ini or tactile engagement.ini file so let's go back to the main tab and quickly open up a tactile engagement.ini as an example I have the strike.ini and I'll open that up you see that it has been loaded and we go back to the steer point tab and you see that weapon lift planning automatically switches to the strike.ini. on top here you can see that we're looking at the tactile engagement.ini and here you see all the steer points as seen before the callsign.ini is empty no steer points there so in case you want to copy these steer points to your callsign.ini there's a button here that quickly copies all those files and as I just push it you'll see this green button turning to red the red and the green buttons are actually telling you if your file has been saved or needs to be saved or not in this case you see that it's red it has become red because it still needs to be saved because there's a change made. Let's have a quick look at our callsign.ini. You'll see here and it has exactly the same steer points now as the mission.ini. If you're flying a tackle engagement you don't need to do that. Everything is done automatically for you if you're having the mission.ini. But in some cases you just want to copy those to the callsign.ini so you can. Saving the data transfer cartridge can be done at every tab and after that weapon delivery panel will tell you that it's saved and the lights will become green. You can also clear all the steer points. I'll show you that on the call sign part then I don't lose the steer points. I clear all the steer points here and the whole steer point list is empty and the same thing you'll see the dot become red again so let's save this and now we're all green switching back to the mission.ini you see that we still have all the steer points for the mission.ini and at this part you can still change something if you like you would probably don't need to change it here but if you want you can do that just a very simple just select what you need change what you need and say apply and the steel point has been changed. After a changement you also get a question if you want to copy this to your callsign.ini and in this case I don't need to do that. This tab actually is for information uh, most of the time because changement to the steer points are hardly made or they are made at a different spot of the program that, will like that I will explain on a later part. Keep a note, keep an eye out for those red and green buttons and if you see a red button just save the data transfer cartridge and you're always safe. 